let's work hard to see this vision movement a reality on mine this should be our topic all over from media to grassroots do you have anything called on mine on mine okay maybe he's not referring to you mm. okay that's fine so the quarantine is still here uh, there are a lot of questions i need to ask you, you know me but there's, there's 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 a big one that has to be taking two million two million each from NDC and MPP, which is constant with them. That's the only way you can disarm them and for them not to get uh, onto the sea because probably you might get a four million, they'll be hovering around uh, three. That's if the five to six million is what we're dealing with votes. So we're, how did you do that? Is okay. this still the talk? So now, of mind? let me, okay, so let's change the paradigm of your perspective. Hmm. So how many people were registered going into 2020? 17 plus, mm -hmm. 17 million plus. Mm -hmm. How many people voted? Mm -hmm. Not more than 13, about 13. Yes, yes, okay. 12, 12, 13, mm. yes, yes, yes. So what's the deficit? You see what I'm saying? Mm. There are close to 5 million people who did not show up because they didn't believe in either NDC and MPP. They're looking for Kofi Karantin. That's the answer. So we don't need two million from NDC or MPP, mm. okay? And the idea is not to snatch. The idea is to just present a case. Listen, there are people who are NDC, who are MPP, who genuinely love this country, who want to see this country do well. True. You see? But they are disappointed by just looking at the facts, by what NDC and MPP have been able to present to them in the last 30 years. They've been overly sympathetic, hoping that these guys will wake up and do something. And they've let them down. And now we've come to the edge of the cliff. If we don't do this in 2024, the 100 ton train is going to plow through the station without stopping and kill the women and the children. I am the only one who can offload that 100 million pound train and dumping the braking to come to a stop at the station. Nobody else can because they don't understand it. And somebody made a comment about demographic catastrophe. Let me explain to you what it is. You see, we have 400 billion cities of debt. I, I, it blows my mind how none of the candidates talk about how they can eradicate the 400 billion cities of debt because they don't have a plan to do it. We're the only ones who are going to be able to eradicate the debt through agriculture. We're going to be spending $10 billion into agriculture a year. We're going to s build a whole country on agriculture. We're going to be the agricultural hub for the nation. We're going to take care of our farmers. We're going to make agriculture palatable. People are going to respect agriculture. We're going to subliminally put it in our text content. We're going to change our curriculum to look to agriculture because we need to feed ourselves. And for the surplus, we need to package it, make it export quality and export it so we can get foreign exchange reserves and pay down our debt to controllable levels before we can start any other horizontal expansion. That is the plan. That is the only plan. Because nobody, Chairman Ting, really? Uh, 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 Bahumia, really? They're the guys who caused us to be in this mess in the first place. They're the economic destruction team, right? They cannot fix this country. If they have any f any patterns of fixing this country, p please, Mr. Bahumia, help us because we are in desperado mode. He's not a president. He doesn't call the shots. Oh, that makes it even worse. Because if you don't call the shots, then it's supposed that somebody else gives you orders to do what you need to do. But that's the work of the vice president, so is to take some instruction from the, the person. Yeah, but if in the position of taking instructions, you don't do what you're supposed to do, then you're certainly not going to do any better as a president because you don't take instructions from anyone. You see? So that is the red flag, alarm bell should go off. Bahumia is a no-no. Mr. Chairman Ting, you are the Minister for Trade. You know all our numbers. You know that 80% of our, all our employment stems from the micro, small, and medium enterprises. 
but then 90% of that chunk is in the informal sector. Informal sector. So how can you have your partner, Mr. Baumia, talk about digitization without a plan to graduate people from the informal to the formal so we can receive some income? The, the argument is also that why do we wait to migrate all of them? Then, so let's put the, the structures there while we do so. So if the efforts are not forthcoming in terms of the migration, then we could have a problem. So he says we cannot also wait for the entire informal sector to be migrated and transformed into the former before then we, we put together these things and that's i, I think it's is a, is a very no that's a that's a failure plan. but really but so it's, it's when we do not migrate to them that that's where the problem yeah is. but then this you could sing that song forever it mm, doesn't take six mm, years mm, to be in a position mm. listen we still less than 30 percent of the uh, people who work paying taxes how do you how do you i think we could, we could wrap up on these one how do you then practically transform, migrate the informal sector into You have to elevate their quality of life by incenting them, empowering them, and helping them. How much is money in Ghana? Money is very expensive in Ghana. People are not open to credit facilities to expand their business, right or right? So if a person genuinely wants to, you have created an environment for a person to elevate from the informal to the formal, how do they do it? They can't do that through expansion and putting systems together. That costs money. If the financial institutions have been created, ah, you bring us to the same people who created the mess are now using the mess as an excuse because if you allowed the financial systems to function and you went in with the 25 billion CDs to destroy, decimate it instead of reforming it with 9 million they said that, that was a better option because even the 9 million that's an plunges. idiotic option the, the, and the reason is, and let me tell you because yeah. you listen, let me tell you why it's an idiotic because now you have decimated that you have disposition people who were feeding off that system which was not good you have killed that system so now who how did they feed and you have created a whole market for a foreign company that is momo to come in and take the chunk through momo and then you sit back and you say oh wow there's so much money going through this system that i created so let me go back and come in with e-levy to Break down, it's called a payment aggregator. Momo MTN is a payment aggregator bef between the informal and the banking system. So you come in and say, oh, let me take some money from them. And then a system that you, the Bank of Ghana, could have created for your citizens. Why did you not see that it was an opportunity for you to manage that financial sector that was maybe perhaps through your own failure? You caused it. You know why you cause it? Because the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Bank of Ghana to, should have set systems and regulatory operations to make sure that only the people who were ready to go into the financial sector went. Did they do that? So what happened to men's gold? They killed people because people had their whole life savings into men's gold. And don't blame the people because it was your responsibility to make sure that if people don't set up their financial systems right, they cannot serve the people. You allow them to form, and then they took away people's savings. People have died from that. And you come here and you tell me that's an excuse for you not getting people from the informal to the formal. You are a failure. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Ghanaians should never give these people a break. They have decimated the economy of Ghana from the income. It, it's not even incompetence. It's beyond incompetence. Yeah, and you spent and you cost us even more with twenty-five billion. I see. Yeah, you see. Be, be <laughs> Mr. Karanti, I'm too sure they. I, I really do not know how we come about these things because you see, Ghanaians are becoming more discerning mm -hmm. every day. Yet. My fear. Yeah, yeah, you, you. My you, fear. You, is you, you are a pessimist no, by I'm nature. Not. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm a realist. Okay. I'm a realist. realist. What I do is, as much as I speak to the minds of people, I have to accept mm -hmm. the reality that the action is going to happen. And so, what I do is to find solutions, very practical ones, and to ensure that even if you take the radical steps to do that, I do that.
So not to say, ah, I'm only changing the minds and so I'm being optimistic and so it will not happen. It's going to happen. Are, we, are you not telling me that they're not going to share monies? Oh, they're going to share monies. But is NDC not going to share? Is NDC not going to share? People, listen, Ghanaian, <laughs> Ghanaians are awake now. And that sharing of money is not going to move them an inch. I, I, I'll pray so. And I hope so. Because I want to see people go to, people like you go there, just by dint of what you have in your head, to, to, to share with us. That's all. That's all. Okay. Anyway, final words. Um, where do we go next? Still on the campaigns, the town hall meetings. How do people follow you? People who want to join. Uh, KofiCranting.com. Okay. KofiCranting.com. Um, That's all, the, all, social, the, all the social media. Okay. If, uh, now, if you want to join us on WhatsApp, it's 055 228 Two eight eight zero seven. My last words are these. Yeah. Listen, we have the last chance to reclaim Ghana. This is not Kofi Kranting saying this. My 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 passion at this point is beyond politics. My passion at this point is our survival. We have the last shot. This shot has got to be right. Because the people who've taken the shots for us, who claim they have taken the shots in our favor, look at what they did in the last 30 years and beyond. We just came from IMF from the 17th time. That in itself, it's a vindication of failure, a failed leadership. And every time they have an excuse, they justify failure and substandardness. We have a chance to change the course of Ghanaians. Mm. This is your destiny, and we ask all the diasporans, Ghanaians living abroad, to come and help us. Resource and re logistics, because we're fighting a fight with two behemoths who, yes, with their monies that they have amassed, they would do anything That's to make us insignificant. But we believe in your destiny we believe in your hearts that you will make a decision going into 2024 with the heart and the mind for the love of ghana thank you very much and good morning thank you very much and copy that copy that name kofi quarantin is a presidential hopeful for the 2024 elections you love his ideas you love his thoughts pray for him let's let's see how it goes all right we are supporting thank Appreciate you very much for your time thank as you. always thank, thank you, you. Thank